This year's nominee for the Excellence in EMS Medical Direction Award has served as the Medical Director for Columbus Division of Fire for the past 32 years, making him one of the longest serving medical directors in the country. To highlight but a few of his accomplishments, he has led the division in implementing many recommendations of the CARES Cardiac Arrest Registry to enhance survival. This program has led to significant improvement in the resuscitation of victims of cardiac arrest in our community. He has chaired several regional initiatives through the uh, Central Ohio Trauma Systems, including the STEMI, Stroke, and Sepsis Task Forces. Nationally, he has been a member of the American College of Emergency Physicians EMS Committee. He's an editorial board member for GEMS, the Journal of Emergency Medical Services. His, he has accumulated numerous recognitions for his service in EMS and the community, including the John Campbell Award for Trauma Education, for his service to the Basic Trauma Life Support Program, the William Hall Award given by Ohio ASEP, and the Michael K. Kopus Award nationally as his recognition for innovation and leadership in the field of EMS. This year's award recipient possesses a servant's heart as founder of both the Vineyard Community Church Free Clinic, which serves the underserved here in Central Ohio, and Luke's Brigade, a medical missionary training organization. It is my distinct pleasure, my humble honor, to present this year's Ohio Health Excellence in EMS Medical Direction Award to Dr. David Kessick. Good morning. It's great to see so many familiar faces out there. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Ohio Health for the honor of receiving this very prestigious award. I have been richly blessed to have had the privilege of being involved with EMS for 40 years, starting out with the Greenfield Area Life Squad, or we call them the GALS. All volunteer, as, as some of you are probably out there. And also with serving the Columbus Division of Fire as their medical director for these past 32 years. So happy to see so many of my colleagues here today. Thank you for coming. To be able to look out and see so many friends and colleagues of mine here today fills me with immeasurable joy and gratitude. I'm so proud to have been able to stand shoulder to shoulder with all of you to improve and impact EMS care in your communities. Much has changed in EMS over the 40 years I've been involved, most of it for the better, although I do still have a sentimental attachment to those mass trousers. <laughs> but one thing has remained constant, the spirit of compassion and sacrifice that everyone in this audience involved with EMS possesses. That's what drives the innovation and the progress that EMS experiences over time. And without that spirit, all of the new medications and equipment and techniques would ring hollow. You are what makes EMS so unique in a world of mediocrity and settling for less. I would like to thank the most important person in my life and the individual who has always provided encouragement and support to me, my beautiful wife, Judy. Would you join me in a round of applause? <laughs> she followed me through medical school, internship, public health service, emergency medicine residency, and then practice, and always has been my bright and guiding star. Thank you, sweetheart. And also to our children who are here, our grandchildren, giving us so much joy and happiness, bless you. Thanks to all of you for modeling what it means to give of yourselves so that others might benefit. You've dedicated yourself to a profession that requires so much of you and frequently does not acknowledge your sacrifice. Thanks for being such an inspiration to me throughout the many years for continuing to respond when you are called. 
Thank you.